Hello folks and welcome back to Court Farms. Here we are, it is one o'clock in the afternoon and we're back down the dealership because we are ready to pick up some new equipment. So, as mentioned in the last episode, we did put a down payment on some new equipment and we did get some nice upgrades. So, for example, the 610 is now a 650, so went from 145 horsepower to 185. And this would be a good little tractor for around a farm. Was tempted to sell it and use that money for new land. However, we do need a, at least two, well, ideally three tractors I think we're going to need for this farm and that we're going to have at some point. But, one thing at a time. Along that, we've got the Class FL140 front loader and we've got a bell grab. So something a bit better than what we was using before. The skid steer was nice, but at moving around at 9 miles an hour, it was annoying, so we're sort of going around slowly, loading things up. And then next we got our brand new Class Disco mowers. And when I put the payment down, I didn't realise, technically we didn't need a wind rower, or we'll upgrade it at least, because this does a swath row, so you can have widespread this swath, right swath, or swath drop in. However, we're still going to need the wind rover because we do want to upgrade the tether at some point. I do want to get like sheep in now. Maybe one of the farms has got sheep in, perhaps. Along with that, we sold the old cultivator, and we got this one here. So this is the take the as a case for ninety. But it's a different variant, so if we have a look, I have to go over those under disc arrows. Or is it two? So it's this one here. So we've got the IKR yellow version. So take these on case. Yes, it's not green or anything, or a cloth colour. Even though I don't have everything matchy colour and that, and that is really good, that's like bigger than what we have. And it's just testing on our equipment, so that's why we're going with that. But yeah, so we need to earn some money, because we do want to buy this plot on here, plot 53. It's not the green mill, green mill's here, 193. But this requires 162 grand, so I think where we left off. So yeah, we've got some contracts here for us and contracts. Got a Colvin contract on field two, which is actually next to fields one and four at the bottom. So if we do one and four first of all, for those Zeus fields, and then yeah, so I think if we take these off, put this up, go to the farm, pick up the fertilizer spreader, and then we do fields one and four fertilizers. They're gonna take a few minutes, and then we can quickly do that culling contract whilst we're down there. So I think for now we'll leave these at the shop and that. And yeah, sure, the ship won't have mines. This we'll come back and collect them later on. But this good thing about the cultivator is a pin lock or pin hitch rather than a three point, so we can tow it around with our landing over there. So yeah, then go and get all this, head down to fields one and four, or war four, should I say. And then uh, we'll start doing some of those contracts. And there we go, so we're just gonna plot the cultivator here, place that down, and re-link up to the fertilizer spreader via the back. So yeah, this is plot two, where we're gonna be hopefully cultivating, as long as that contract doesn't disappear. And we'll cut through this thin hedgerow line in. If we can, so if we go around here. And there we go. 
do. So what, let's just see if we cut from here. Ooh, hopefully didn't damage that too much. But yeah, so... Okay, that's a barrier there, I did not realise. So it looks like we're going to have to cut through here as well. No, not technically should be doing that, but uh, as long as the owners don't know. But yeah, so anyways, we are fertilising. That's what I like about this, it is a big spread width, it's like 42 metres I think. 28 or 42 metres, can't remember which one it is. So yeah, this won't take too long. And I've just realised we're running low on fuel. We did place down a diesel fill up tank in. So we can get some red diesel imported in. For like some of our equipment. Yeah, red diesel technically is not legal in that. Uh, it's only not really legal because of the whole tax thing and that, but getting fuel pennies to the pound compared to like fuel nowadays it's like diesel you're looking at like one pound eighty one pound seventy a litre almost in some places whilst with diesel with red diesel we can get it for about a quid at most so if we do run out hopefully we don't we may have to look at Either buying a fuel tanker trader. There's something like that we can do with on the farming now. Because how much is going to be a fuel tanker and that? So. 29 grand. Ouch. 15 grand for that. Any other ones? Not really. And do Steve Diesel get that for five grand? A five grand fuel tanker that does sound actually reasonable. And just like that, I think that is the contract almost done, if not completed, but almost done. So, I think once we get this past here done, it should be all right. Ninety two per cent or oh, not quite so Alright that's a little bit reducing the spread away fear just save on the man off there we go So that is that contract completed I will accept that contract. I was thinking if these fills weren't too close, I would have got the other case down. That could do. Actually, that, that can pull out the cultivator. It's just, it's just powerful enough. With about five horsepower spare, so. Thanks, say for a nice bit of that field. Well, who knows? Once we cultivated field two. They may want us to fertilize that field, so yeah. I will get these contracts quickly completed. Field 18, where's that to? Oh, 18 is just to the left of us, so we can do that contract as well. So yeah, I'm going to do that. So I'll do these, do field 18, and then we'll see where we stand afterwards with contracts. And we should have enough money then to purchase our new land.
So it is literally just turned 9 o'clock. We are on the third week of October. And yep, so we've done a few contracts and we accepted some more, some size contracts. So first of all, let's go and sell this sunflower. We got 33,500 3, euros off sunflower. And there is a worker there with our bells and our fuel tanker that we bought. Why the ramps are down, I have got no idea why the worker put these ramps down, but I'm not going to ask questions. So we got to go in here. That's going to the garden centre because we're going to sell those bells, and that's where it's the best price at £540 per thousand litres. So yeah, that's all of our bells. We've completed the baiting contract. So now let's see how much we get for this. So. Alright, so we've got to do it separately, that's fine. We'll do the class one first, you put those extensions back on. And we'll see how much we get from that. Oh, no wonder it's sends so late. It's a green door. Alright, you know what? Sell this one first. I was like, what was it taking so long? Okay, so, yeah, we're going to have much left, I don't think. Let's put that back down. There we go, that's what we want. We get a few grand from this. Not too bad, 13 grand. It must be a high demand price then for the sunflower. Because how much was that? So I think the prices are quite good for a few products at the moment. Oh yeah, well, three under three nine hundred. That ain't too bad. So if we go over to not that menu contracts, and we will complete you, you, and you. So now that leaves us with 212 grand. Plus, we got those bells. Why oh, you suck over there? I didn't tell you to go that way, worker. Uh, so yeah, we got 73,500 years. You've gone complete pass, actually, I think. Yeah, they're meant to go in there. Anyways, we'll cut across this. But yeah, the fuel tanker and that costed us about seven grand in total. Oh, spinning on wheels here a bit. Perhaps could have done with some duties. As far as diesel and whatever else. Come on. Ah, uh, we're just spinning our wheels here. Attach that. We'll remove the fuel tanker. I think it was moving fine when I had it all loaded up, did a little test drive. But no. Ah, oh, fair enough. Yeah, that's 10,000 litres of diesel. I'll pop it here. pick you up afterwards. But yeah, so 212 grand plus we're gonna get about 540 per thousand litres, so that's about 37 and a half grand we're gonna make here. Ooh, we may be close to hitting 250. Can we break quarter of a million? No, but so I think which cell point are we going to here? We're not going to that one, we're going to this one over here. We're going to the 
how much was it selling here at the farmer's market? So good silage. Farmer's market, 510. Nope, we'll go see our cell phone soon. What? I'll quickly get us over there and then we'll resume once we are over there without crashing. And there we go, so 42 grand for those bells actually, so yep, yeah, we've hit a quarter of a mil, almost 255. So now that leaves us with a few options, so for like lands and farms and that possibly, there's uh, a plot of land down here, and there's a farm there, ideally that would be a good one for us to have. It has a field to start off with, so that's a good thing. There are some other farms up here. There's a plot of land here we can get, so that is 186 grand. And there's a farm over here, how much is that? 218. And that's a grass field there, but I think that's for like the cow pastures. One there, one there. Got one here, small farm, 83 grand. Because yeah, that's what we went through. And I think that's for like the pig pens as well. Just having a little aerial scan. Yeah, there's a couple of farms all over the place. No, not there. But yeah, so, what do we go for? But I'm still tempted to go with this, it's 162 grand. If we get that. I think we could set up our farm over here, and then acquire these fields. That's the thing, actually, that'd be a good idea to have at some point. Is sort of half this entire section, so we have two farms. But that's going to be a ways away, so, you know what? I think we'll buy plot 53. That is ours. And I think. Pop transport over here. So, yeah, it's actually a decent grass field. I wasn't going with the other plot lands, first of all, but the bigger. However, the grass wasn't like this, it wasn't like metal grass, so. Let's get rid of this sign. So, get rid of the sign. And this is our land. Next to the green mill. But yeah, this is a good idea for us. Good investment. Obviously, what we need to do now is do a cut of this, cut this all up, get it into silage. So that means put into the bunker silo, clamp it, and then we'll wait till December. I think it is when it's ready. Because how much is silage in the winter? Actually, at the moment it's going up. Like the 544 was a unexpected boost, so may you see around 600 grand, not 600 grand, 600 quid, grand. Let's move away from that. Um, harvesters, some good options there. But yeah, we're looking at like the quarter of a mil mark. Even though I would say we were going to be spayed by John Deere, get something like that. It is tempting. 7.6 meters. And so, what's the maximum horsepower? If we was going to go for something, I'll go with S780 S90i. Because then, oh no, the price has gone up. It was 216, now it's. So they're charging 52 grand for the engine. So we can't have this without the engine, so. But man, that would be a very good combine to have. Different green tanks, 
14,000 or 17,000 two wheel for a drive 4 wheel drive number one nah I don't uh, dish, special edition one just looking at some of these options go that, go that go with the big pipe not too fuss on the axles standard so that is 350 and that says it will do a 7.6 meter but ain't there a big horsepower John Deere that could ah so I'm guessing that 7.6 or you go into the ridiculous category ain't there any intermediate like a 10 meter John Deere header Unless we go something like these, something like that perhaps, but yeah, I'm not sure, but we're going to be looking at a combine, so let's go, not good, <laughs> let's get all of our farming equipment over here, and then we will see how much grass we can get from this, how much size we can make, and then we can look at the catalog again. And sort of do a pre-price check on everything. Because we should get a decent cut from this. Because this is a decent sized plot of land. There's a way around here. So yeah, decent size. Obviously we don't have a beater so it's not going to the clamp. But yeah, I'm going to get all the equipment. And then we'll start doing some mowing. And there we go, it is 11 minutes, or 12 minutes past 11, and we are ready, so we've got all this to do, and I think our plan is, after we've done this, we will rent a plough, rent a cedar out, and get this planted grass sometime this month, whether it be this week or next week, because then at least then if we do that, I think we'll be in good, good minds off having a spring silage. Yes prices will have gone down then but if we get that done in March again it's gonna take a month or two to ferment. If it's a month, if it's April, if it's two months, it's May. And then come April or May what's the planting window like? April, May. Most of everything apart from weeks will be hard so be planted. Cause I'm thinking of doing field beans. If we do that, then most likely we're looking at October. So this time next year we'll be harvesting field beans in this field. But it depends on how everything goes with this new field in that. And if we get a farm then, obviously the work over winter is going to be quiet. It ain't going to be as busy as it is now. So who knows? But yeah, we've still got the wind rover, because he may have talked about her in the episode about um, the swathing. It does a swath, but it's only... I mean, that's, that's widespread, so we toggle to swath dropping. The only difference is it doesn't chuck it into the middle. It sort of meets up a bit and puts it in rows of three as it would be still but just a lot neater so not much if any difference is there but you know what at the end of the day I am not complaining but yeah I should get a decent car this this is a pretty decent size feel as well actually truth to be told so I need to guess how much we're getting sighted age if I guess I know. 300,000 years, between three and 400,000 years of silage we'll get. And if it's true, then we're looking at about 150 to 200 grand. And then we use that to get the farm up and running. Because, yeah, I don't do silage all the time. It's pretty much an easy way to make money. Just at the moment, that's the only way of really making money. Besides for doing contracts. I want to avoid doing the A contracts. 
they are going to work. And I'm getting some feedback in there from like, the people we do the contracts for. The fact that for some of these side contracts that I've been doing, we're having to use some of their own equipment. It's, yeah, we're having to pay a fee now for wear and tear, but the volume I'm getting is not really ideal for us, it's not really a positive thing. Which, yeah, makes sense. We should have our own equipment for the fee, or at least borrow equipment from the deer ship. But, it's one of those things, it's what it is. So I think until then, we'll only use our equipment or lease it from the deer ship when it comes to doing contracts now in the future. Okay, as close as we can to this motor wall there. But I'm locking it down. Finishes off, get this all done, and then we'll get everything to the bunker side. that done and uh, we managed to put the doors as you see on the 850 and we did spend some money on just a bit of maintenance as well as on the weight and a lever for the pit that's because I think we'll need a leveler and we didn't get close to 30,000 it was more close to 200,000 so I think this is load Fence, fence in there. Yeah, I think this is load number four, so four or five. I have a little look here. 
here, so we get out. Yeah, so that's 126,000 here, so this is load number four, so 150,000. And we've got the weight and the level there. If we can avoid using the level, then I will, because it seems the level get some spillage somewhere or some lost silage, so. So we have a little look, get the weight on. There we go, if we open that up, then we can see the compaction. So currently it's 12%. So 156,000 litres, that is going to be the best part of 80. 90 grand, maybe a hundred grand at peak price. I don't try to push it to the other side because there is a fence there. I go get this free and the lever put on. Actually, we managed to get it free, so I think if we just keep on doing this top part here, I don't think we'll need the lever now since we managed to compact a good portion of it. Let's go over to the right a bit, try to get this part flattened. That's the thing, once this first bump here is leveled, it's fine. Yeah, that. There we go. If you get the spinach out of the front, that's fine. You can always buy a bucket for the front loader on the 650. Which we haven't done yet, but... There we go. No spinach just whatsoever. I was just trying to go over the edge and stop getting rid of the peaks and that and this. 71 74% I'll just drive straight over so that's 5% so a few more passes and we'll be done and there we go a 100% compaction rate park this up over here Fill the fuel. So, how much fuel have we got in there? 11,000 litres. So, that should last us for a while, for at least the next year or so. There we go, covers on. I am happy with that. Looks good. Nothing's peeking out. Yep. 
no spiders or anything that I can see. So yeah, I'm happy with that. That's going to be fermenting. And is there any more contract work? Well, yes there is, but anything to our desires? No, just a bunch of ten contracts. One of four, one of five is up top. So yeah, nothing really of interest. And then again, we'll need a bather as well, so... How much is a bather? So I want to get something... I don't want the small ones, like these ones here. Well, that one's alright, because you want to send your bells. That can do sludge bells, but... Yeah, yeah. If anything, something like these would be good for us. Yes, decent. But again, it's only. We need to look at something to either get small square bells or big round bells. May have the speed to do ship. See if there's anything else. Even if it's by a John Deere or something. I'm not fussed, I think they need certain equipment on this farm to be because when we have animals at some point hopefully get some cows, some chickens, sheep, rabbits and all that we're going to need to be there and that so but anyways, that's where we're going to leave it today so next time I think really next time will be when the slide is ready and this anything else comes up but that's where I'm going to leave it today. As always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button. Feel free to go down below. If you want to show some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to yet, then please consider. But, for to do, hope you're nice day. But for now, this is me, Farmer Envelope Stream. And I'll see you all very soon.